I don't know how I don't know how people can get into like multi-day long arguments and debates over an OS. Anyway, so human boredom is the same reason for this, dude. Go, like, like you know where you can go check this out. I've actually haven't checked it. YouTube. Let's just see what comes up with Windows 11. Let's see what comes up with the probably the Linus video. Oh, did he even do one? Oh, oh yeah. No, this is a month ago. The Verge. Oh my God. Let's click on this fucking cancer. Okay, just at first glance here, look at how many people are talking about Windows 11. Imagine having an opinion over an operating system. Now imagine how bored all of these people are in their lives. Just the sheer fucking boredom what the fuck are they doing dude i feel i genuinely feel sorry for these people it's not that they're dumb it's just that they you know how we always talk about goals they don't have any goals in life dude their goal is to go to work nine to five every day come home and watch a little bit of youtube and some netflix go to sleep go back to work they're just drones right they're, they don't they don't have any really goals they're they're set you know what i mean just look how fucking bored these people are, dude. You can't blame them either on some level because of the lockdowns. They're NPCs. Yes, they're they're little. Yeah, that's a good word. That's a good word. NPCs. They're they're just they're bots. They're a hundred percent bots, dude. Like, so when people brought up the Windows 11 thing in the Discord, I'm like, what are you guys doing? It's a fucking OS. It's an OS. Like. Like, it, like, like, I, I, I can't wrap my head around uh, around it, right? An OS is just an OS, right? It's like, you know how, you know how I had a comment. We might, I was, you know what I was just gonna do? I was gonna do like a YouTube, a reacting to YouTube comments section today if we didn't have enough content, because it was bothering the shit out of me. But this is kind of the same thing where like, some guy was like. Jufus will never get off of a 10900K and 3090. He's an NVIDIA and an Intel fanboy. I'm like, the fuck are you talking about? My test bench right here has AMD hardware on it. But pick the right tool for the job. That's what I was going to say. So I was like, dude, these tools are the better tools for the job that I have. So the, the same argument comes from a wind from an OS. Windows 7. Actually, you could even go back to Windows XP if you're a retro gamer. Or Windows XP, sorry. Windows XP. Windows 7. Windows 10. Windows 11. What game do you want to play? Which OS performs the best with that game? That's the OS you pick. It's as simple as that. I don't know how, I don't know how people can get into like multi day long arguments and debates over an OS. Just what is the goal? Do you know what's hilarious? When you actually ask somebody this question, all the, the debates completely, uh, I, people don't even know why they're debating. They don't even know what they're doing. Dude, everyone's a fucking bot. Uh, what's the goal? Arguments completely out the fucking window, right? So it's like, uh, oh, you asked me what goal I have? I guess I don't really have a goal. And then you can get around a lot of real life conversations that way too so you know how i was talking about the person at work it's like oh did you hear this person moved over to hr you can just be like what is the goal of this conversation that you're trying to initiate ends it right there
and that's not a politically incorrect way to end the conversation you're like sorry i i'm just really busy right now what's the goal of this conversation like we can get, the, get to the fucking point here right right so anyway that's my answer to the windows 11 thing really just what's the goal pick the right os that game is the best avoid tinkering disease avoid boredom fuckery <laughs> you know what i mean avoid, avoid boredom fuckery there has to like so okay so let's say you see windows 11 okay let's just say you let's say you see windows 11 you're like you know what and anybody that upgraded to windows 11 in the chat can you just express what went through your mind when you heard about the announcement because when i when i heard about the like i didn't even hear about it dude i like like the windows 11 launch an announcement wasn't even on my radar like i don't give a shit you know what i mean it doesn't affect my life at all but to somebody out there they were like waiting for windows 11 to come like oh windows 11 i need to i want to upgrade like but like but like like what went through your mind like i can't wait to tinker with something uh i can't wait to check if there's more fps that's actually okay but then you end up seeing that there's no fps difference or it's less fps right like then you just did you feel like you just wasted all that fucking time for nothing like i don't know dude i, I can't relate to i can't relate dude i don't know i can't relate uh the only case the only time you should actually upgrade i said this before too so okay there okay so if you run like if you run a modern windows 10 system it all has all of its updates you did all your stripping you removed your telemetry all that stuff there is actually no physical way that the code of windows 10 can make it perform any faster in games it's physically impossible it's this it's the back end of windows 11 is the exact same as windows 10. so if the back end of both of these are the exact same it's physically impossible for it to perform better until alder lake comes out maybe even then you don't know right so if you don't have an alder lake chip okay so what comes with windows 11. direct storage which no game utilizes alder lake scheduler which isn't even out yet so if the two things that windows 11 is advertising aren't available yet why are people even discussing it Be like okay i'm just gonna wait until they fucking they figure that shit out and yeah that's the other thing these things are coming to windows 10 at a later date i i, I think they're just like pushing it onto windows 11 to get like the early adopters for some reason like all these fucking people did but they're all coming to windows 10 in the end anyway right so it doesn't matter right even auto hdr you know what you have to do for hdr right click display settings oh i don't even have hdr there's a button right here you click turn on when you're done you click turn off really so that argument doesn't hold any water either so it's like so it's like you were so annoyed at clicking a button that you installed an entirely new experimental os that it seems like you know what that reminds me of dude we were watching fucking anchorman the other day <laughs> that escalated quickly it's like it's like it's like oh fuck i'm so sick and tired of pressing a fucking hdr button i gotta i gotta wipe my whole computer and install a fucking windows os so that it does it for me 
the laziness of human beings blows me dude imagine installing a fucking windows os because you're like ah ah god damn fucking one button this entire button is just ruining my existence gotta install a whole new fucking os for that shit i bet you auto hdr is probably broken too like ah oh, fuck like oh give me that windows 11 like oh, oh, geez, i can't you can't make this shit up dude this these are humans that we're talking you cannot make this shit up dude you can probably make a fucking you can probably bind a hotkey to auto hdr in windows 10 i bet you could like tilde or something turn on hdr even that it's not automatic i want full automation of my hdr experience okay all right sure let's just move on all right you know what i mean like i don't know what to say about that dude that's a whole nother level that i cannot relate to there like, you see where i'm going with this there's so much shit that i can't relate to dude people fixate on things that don't matter at all dude the only reason i'm on windows 10 is because they didn't create uh dx12 support for windows 11 or windows 7 i mean windows 7 still performs so if if you if you take a um direct x 11 game like an old one whatever um what's an old dx 11 game that we all used to play i don't even remember now dude let's even take just like cs go or any of those old shooters that we used to play if you install it on windows 7 it runs better 100 windows 7 was lean dude do you know what i mean closer to the hardware the only reason you got to do this shit now is because of all the direct storage not direct storage the direct apis that microsoft came out with right so it's like they forced everyone to upgrade to this shit but this still runs better and if you have like an og game like starcraft one this runs better you see where i'm going with that why are you changing os's if the one that you're currently on already does everything that you needed to do anyway anyway let's move on from this topic that's that's pretty much what that was dude stop worrying about fucking windows 11 stop worrying about that shit it's a waste of time stop you know what i, I you know what i don't, I don't even want to say stop worrying about windows 11 i want to say do something more productive with your time as a human being dude 